COVID has changed things completely um, in terms of what we do here. It was maybe 30 to 40 people coming to eat every week. Um, that would be staggered groups coming through over the course of a couple of hours. We'd have between eight and 12 volunteers coming in again at different times to help in the kitchen or out front. When the lockdown started in pandemic, we, uh, we felt that it was important to try and find a way to continue this service because we knew that people would be struggling for food. We've had to adapt and you know do takeaway services or serve people from a door that we're not able to welcome them in, that we're not able to have that level of compassion um, and care. Um, that's been a real um, struggle for me personally because that was the thing that I was uh, most impressed and most kind of warmed by. And so I had to get special permission to allow myself to come in but also for the junk food team to come in to create takeaway meals for people who were in need. And so uh, from quite early on in lockdown, we started to serve uh, takeaway lunches that were just handed out at the door so everybody was safe. Um, and we know that a number of people really relied on that uh, source of nutrition throughout lockdown. But when lockdown happened, we had to change our mission statement and we, the only way we could stay open to serve takeaway was to become a food hub recognised by the council that we were serving food for those who were in need. And so during lockdown, that's what we did. We cooked over 3,000 meals uh, for people in need. Within three weeks, I think we'd stepped up to 120 meals and we were doing those with three volunteers at the time. Um, obviously, we wanted to make sure we were doing social distancing and we were really worried about expanding our risk as we've got through it, we've worked out how to be able to work masked, how to spread people out amongst the space, and so now we'll work with up to six people in the space, which is fantastic. But yeah, it's been a complete game changer, and it has, although been very sad to see how many people were desperately in need of that food, it's actually also been a really good community bonding experience to connect us with the people who need that food most. Well, I came to work for the Brighton Junk Food Project well after COVID uh, had entered our lives. And I have to say, I feel really safe here. The, the standard of um, cleanliness and the attention to legal responsibilities in terms of spacing, in terms of face masks, in terms of washing your hands and cleansing your hands, really, really good. And that's both for volunteering uh, when we're getting the food ready, but also in terms of the service. So ironically, I probably feel safer here than in an awful lot of other places I've been to. I've got family members who are quite um, vulnerable. So um, when we were in full lockdown, I was quite nervous about um, volunteering. I did volunteer when the cafes were closed, obviously, and I've only just come back now. But I do feel very safe in this environment because it's quite a small group. Everyone is very aware. And um, it's not in the cafe environment. People will come and collect food. So for me, it's actually, I'm glad I've started back up again. I probably should have done it a little bit earlier. Now I've seen it's actually very safe to do so. I was reassured the first time I came here and that it was quite early on in the lockdown um, that I was volunteering here and I was, I was really reassured by the sort of safety measures that were being taken here and I, it does feel safe to me so, so yeah so in that sense it's not affected me but I mean if I'd come along and I didn't think it was safe then I probably wouldn't have carried on. So. I don't feel as anxious about it at the moment I feel quite comfortable with the um, with the measures that are in place here. It's really good to be back doing it because, um, yeah, I don't have um, much else at the moment to, uh, to get on with. So, yeah, it's really nice to feel useful. Since um, COVID, um, I've been more inclined to do some volunteering, um, especially going forward because of the economic implications. A lot of people are going to be struggling a lot more. What I feel is that I'm delivering something as part of society in a way that makes it possible to show that you can do that with COVID. You don't have to go into your silos, you can find ways through it, and hopefully that's what we're doing. Since lockdown ended, I was determined that we needed to reimagine the cafe. This is not temporary, this is gonna last a long time. Winter's coming, we couldn't have them queuing. We needed to get them sat down. Uh, and so we now run a takeaway service and a sit down service, and it's really starting to pick up uh, so last week we were so busy, people 
at first we're very nervous but now are much more comfortable sitting and connecting and eating food off a plate not out of a takeaway box so yeah